Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I decided to do a little impromptu video. I'm actually on my way out the door, headed to the grocery store, and I decided that this is probably a new series that I want to add to my channel, and since this is day one for me, I want to take you on the journey with me. So what the series is going to be is going to be my fitness, weight gain, journey, series, healthy gains type thing. Um, as I have mentioned in my last video, since the beginning of 2019, I've had a lot of positive changes happen, and I've hit majority of the goals that were on my list for this year, but one of the goals that I definitely had is I wanted to put on a few extra pounds, um, just because once I had my babies, um, I definitely gained a lot of weight during both my pregnancies. I gained over 45 pounds with each pregnancy, and with each one, I left on a little bit of the weight, just a tiny bit from each pregnancy, which I really, really liked. Um, but then with Caleb, I definitely breastfed him a lot longer than I did Mason. And with, for me, at least, breastfeeding definitely caused me, is one of the things that helped my stomach get a little bit, get flatter, but it also then caused me to shed weight in other areas. And in addition to that, though I've had so many positive things happening this year, over the last several weeks or a couple of months, I have had some things happen that weren't so great, which has caused me to kind of stress out. And I'm one of those people where when I stress, instead of binge eating, I kind of like don't eat. I don't have an appetite, so I skip meals. And for me, because I'm already such a slim person, skipping meals causes me to then drop pounds quickly. Um, so my goal is definitely to put on some more pounds. I'm looking to put on probably anywhere between 15 and 20 pounds, which is a lot. Um, and though most people's fitness journeys are all about like toning or losing weight, um, weight gain is a thing. It does exist and not just for men who are looking to kind of like bulk. It exists for women as well and it's a lot harder than people think. Um, some people actually say that it's easier to lose weight than it is to actually gain it if you are a naturally thin person with a high metabolism. So for example, I've talked to Sorry, Mason and Caleb are playing. So I talked to a bunch of different trainers and nutritionists to kind of get me on the right path because if I'm going to do this journey, I want to do it correctly. I don't want to kind of just go out there and wing it because that's when you don't see results and then you get discouraged and then you end up quitting. So I had them create some meal plans for me to give me some meal ideas. I had them put together some workouts for me so I know exactly what to be doing. Um, at the gym or at home, wherever I am when I need, when I can fit in some fitness time, just so that I'm working the areas that I need to work. So one thing that, that I definitely have to do is a caloric surplus, which means I need to consume a lot of calories. I need to consume more calories a day than what I typically burn. So one of them took um, my current weight and multiplied that by like 17 or 20, I can't remember, and then that's how they came up with the number of calories I need to consume each day. So every day, I need to eat anywhere between 1,800 to 2,200 calories, which is a lot of calories, um, to put on more weight. At the same time though, where the meal plans come in is that, or the meal ideas um, that they offered me is so that I'm making sure that I'm eating foods that have um, lots of calories, but it's healthy fats, healthy foods, because you don't wanna like go out and just eat McDonald's and pizza and french fries and you know bags of potato chips and things like that because though those things probably will help you gain weight it's going to be a health it's going to be unhealthy weight where um it may go to other places like your gut where you really don't want it to go it could cause other internal issues so you though you want to eat things that are going to put on the weight you want to eat things that are healthy for you um, so I definitely needed some assistance with ideas of things to purchase to make sure that that's what I'm doing and then I'm not just eating a bunch of junk food also, I haven't ever really been the go to the gym type person. Um, it just wasn't my thing. And so I don't know a lot of the machines. I don't know how to use a lot of the movements. I don't know what to do, proper form and things like that. So we needed someone to be able to you know, guide me in all those areas. So I did, I have three different um, trainers put together workout plans for me and I'm kind of just gonna combine all of them and they know what my target areas are, they know what my goals are, and I have videos that show me exactly how to do all the proper movements that I need to do. So for me, because I wanna gain weight, in addition to the caloric surplus, I need to do, I need to put on muscle. And in order to put on that muscle, I need to do lots of weightlifting and strength training. So um, that's like a lot of deadlifts, a lot of dumbbells, a lot of um, squatting. Just I, you won't find me on the treadmill. Um, you won't find me jogging around the block, but you won't find me doing a lot of cardio, but you will find me near the weights. That's pretty much where they say I need to live. 
Um, so I bought some weights for home. I have a gym in my neighborhood, so I can go to. I haven't actually joined a gym. I'm just going to kind of use my home gym that I've created, as well as the gym in my neighborhood that has a little bit bigger equipment that I just don't have here, and then I'm not going to purchase. Um, but I'll do a totally separate video to show you guys my home gym setup for the things that I did buy, and also a tour of the gym that I use within my neighborhood that I go to when I want to use want to use some of the bigger machines. Um, they told me how to do how to do the movements again like i said gave me some videos so that i can see exactly what my form feels to look like exactly how i'm supposed to be doing the reps and everything so i'm really excited about this journey i'm feeling really confident um for each one it's different programs so for one is a 12-week program one's an eight-week program and one's a five-week program like i said i'm going to kind of combine them all i'm really looking to do full body workouts about two to three times a week I know a lot of people, um, even the trainers I talked to, kind of do like five day, six day week um, workouts. But being a mom of two boys and a working mom at that, I really just, I want to set realistic goals for myself and I do not have time to probably, to, I won't have the ability to find time to work out five or six days a week. But I can definitely put aside two to three times a week to either work out in my home gym that I created or to work out um, at the gym gym. Um, around the corner so or literally just across the street um, so I'm very excited so today like I said is day one of my fitness journey I'm also excited because my sister is taking this journey with me her goals are a little bit different um, she is not looking to gain weight she's looking to tone and to lose a little bit of fat in areas that she doesn't like but overall we're gonna just do um, those so though our goals are different overall we just we both want to be healthier um, and to look healthier so we're gonna do it together so she has her plans that they created for her I have my plans that were created for me so to, again two separate plans because we have two separate goals but we're just gonna kind of do it together um, just to be each other's motivator I hear that it's always better to start with someone because you guys can kind of encourage each other hold each other accountable and it's just not as lonely as a road which kind of helps you stay focused and stick with it and not quit and give up um, so right now, like I said, I decided to do this impromptu video because I'm on my way out the door. Mason and Caleb are actually waiting for me. We are headed to the grocery store because based on the meal plans that were created for me, um, I have created my grocery list. So I have a list. So it's actually a pretty long list, um, cause I haven't gone grocery shopping in like a week and a half. So I have a list of a bunch of foods that I need to get. Um, and then also some protein and some supplements that I need to pick up as well from the vitamin shop. And I need to go to Target because I need to get some things for the boys. So I'm hoping, I think Target's going to be my first stop. I'm hoping I can go to Target and their grocery section will have everything that I need. I'm not that confident though by looking at my list of some of the things I need. Um, so I probably will end up having to stop at three different stores, which will be Target, a grocery store, and the vitamin shop. But... The boys are kind of on 100 already, though they just woke up from a nap, so I was hoping that they would kind of, you know, be well rested and not as cranky, but Caleb's being a little bit cranky right now, so I'm hoping I can do this as quickly as possible. Again, this is one of the struggles um, with definitely doing a journey like this as a mom because I do have two kids and two young kids at that who definitely need my attention and still need me to do so much for them, so it's hard. Um, where it was just me, I could just like jump up, run, do all of this, go to the gym whenever I want it, but I have other responsibilities. And when I get back, I will show you some of the items that I picked up to give you an idea of what I will be eating over the next few months. Okay, we are in the car about to head to our first store. Like I said, I think we're gonna go to Target first. Um, so I can just pick up the stuff for the boys and that way if they don't have the grocery items that I need, the groceries aren't just like sitting in the hot car because it's really hot, it's like 84 degrees. Don't mind my hoodie that I have on. I just know that stores are usually cold and I get really cold easily so I always take like a hoodie or something when I go inside a store. Caleb, say hi! Hi! hi. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hi! <laughs> so like I said, I have the munchkins with me so this is about to be a true adventure. <laughs> Our car is pretty packed as you can see. 
This all came to a total of about $350 and still it wasn't everything on my list as I suspected. Sit, Mason. But I'm exhausted, so I doubt we're gonna go to the next store. We're probably gonna go to the vitamin shop and I'll get the rest of the stuff um, tomorrow. I am back home from the store. I've actually been home for a while and I know in my previous clip I had said that I wanted to show you guys what I got from the store, but we were gone for a good amount of time. I still didn't even get to go to all the stores that I needed to. I still didn't even get to get everything I needed to, but the guy, um, the Mason and the boys were getting very restless and I was just getting stressed out. So we cut our trip short. Um, like I said um, in the Target clip, I ended up getting a good amount of things from Target but still they didn't have everything that I needed. But I still wanted to show you guys um, what I picked up because they had majority of the stuff. So there's just a few things that I need to go get tomorrow. And I still need to go to the vitamin shop to get like my protein powder and some vitamins and supplements. But I will show you, though I've already put it away, I'll just kind of like go through real quick and show you some of the things that I picked up today. Okay, so first we'll start with these containers. I got these cups and mind you, everything I'm gonna show right now um, is from Target because that's the only store I ended up going to. But I got these um, tumblers and three different colors. I got like a pink, a teal, and then a purple or like lilac color. Um, and then these can keep your beverage either hot or cold. So it says cold for 20 hours um, with ice and then hot for four hours. So I don't only drink hot beverages, but I'm thinking that I can use these for my protein shakes in the morning um just so that i could make sure that they stay cold because i like my shakes um or smoothies to be cold i don't like them once they get room temperature then uh, um let's start with like the cold food i guess which is like majority of the stuff so these seashells are really mason and caleb shells so we don't have to worry about that um but i got a bunch of wa uh, mini waters so i just got regular waters for when i'm at home and then i also got like the larger liters of the Essentia water, which is my favorite water. And I got those um, for when I am out um, to drink and to like pour into my tumbler. Um, but when I'm at home, rather than pulling the, grabbing the Essentia, I will just grab like the mini Voss water. So you can see when I say mini, like what size that is. Um, so I just got several of those down here. Um, I didn't get this today. I have this. This is just regular whole milk. Um, because I still use whole milk when I'm cooking certain things. But I have a bunch of almond milk, as you can see. Um, we use a lot of almond milk in our household. So Mason and Caleb drink almond milk. I use almond milk in my protein shakes. Um, and then Mason also likes the chocolate version, which is why you see that. I actually do not like chocolate, so I don't drink that. Um, but I do use the uh, original almond milk for my smoothies and then both like I said Mason and Caleb drink the original as well um on this shelf let's see I got some strawberry um like jelly or fruit spread um for breakfast and some lunch items I got a Caesar dressing with avocado that's been marinated in avocado oil I've never tried this before but it sounded good um and I'm definitely gonna have a chicken Caesar salad a few times this week um, and then I also got um, Italian dressing which I love Italian dressing but this is the Olive Garden Italian dressing and I love the Olive Garden salad and I think what makes the salad so amazing is the dressing so I'm hoping that this does taste exactly like that um, for the days that I just have like a regular salad um, also I grabbed some kombucha now I have tried kombucha before. I tried two flavors. I can't remember the brand and I did not like it at all, but my cousin swears by it. So I decided to give it another shot. So I got three different flavors today from two different brands and I'm hoping at least one of them is a hit um, because kombucha actually is not cheap. So I got this first brand and it's, um, or this first one it's by the brand Hum, which says it's only at Target, but it's apple berry. So I do love apples, um, so hopefully I like that. I also got this one, which is also by Hum, and this is strawberry lemonade, and I usually typically like anything with strawberry in it. 
And then I also got this one, which is a different brand. It is Suja Organic Kombucha, but it's pineapple passion fruit. And I love pineapple. I actually don't like to eat pineapple, the fruit, but I like to drink pineapple, which I know is weird. Um, in addition to that, I also got this um, antioxidant infusion water type drink. Um, and it is uh, like a pomegranate flavor. And I've never tried this brand before, but I love anything pomegranate. I'm absolutely obsessed with the taste of pomegranate. So um, I figured this would be a nice switch up um, for like water intake every now and then. And then the purpose of me also getting kombucha is because I do drink soda. Um, and I'm trying to cut back on my soda intake and I heard that kombucha can kind of be like a filler for soda um, because I don't like salsa water, so that doesn't really work for me. Um, again, now over here, like I said, I got a few bottles of the Essentia water, um, but then I also got these Icy's um, and it is the sparkling ice and it in, I like, this is my favorite flavor, which of course, again, like I said, I love pomegranate. It's the pomegranate blueberry flavor. So I got two of these um, to drink sometimes to just add a little bit of flavor when I want some water. Like I said, I do drink soda. I know it's not that great for you. So I'm trying to slowly wean myself off. So I thought I was doing a really good job by not getting the normal 12 ounce cans. So I got these little mini cans. Um, so I got six of the Pepsis and six of the Cokes. Plus when I have people over, I like to have other things for them to drink because you can't assume that everyone is um, taking the same dietary um, path that you are. So I wanna be able to accommodate all guests. And then I also got mini bottles of Gatorade because um, I do love Gatorade. Uh, so yeah, I got some more of those. And then down here, I got some sweet apples. Mason loves apples. I love apples. Um, and this is definitely, I have some snacks this week that um, I will use the apples for. And then he likes to have me cut him up apples. I got two avocados um, just for some breakfast and lunch items this week. I have lots of carrots. Um, if you've watched some of my previous videos, I've mentioned, I think before, that I am obsessed with carrots. I love, 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 love carrots. Um, let's see up here. I got a lot of snack items because I heard that snacking is definitely going to help with me um, and my caloric surplus uh, because you just want to be eating as much as possible and a lot of like mini meals and snacks throughout the day. So I got some grapes. I have, this is, oops, <laughs> I got some um, shredded mozzarella, but this is actually for a pizza that I'm going to be making for myself um, tomorrow but um, I got some celery sticks. I love celery. I got some fresh strawberries. And then I also got some juice. Um, again, just to give myself a break from water, but trying to still stay away from the soda. So I got this V8 juice. Um, I got the strawberry banana flavor, and then I got the peach mango flavor. I've never tried either of these, so I'm hoping I like it. And then back there, it's just another thing of almond milk and another thing of chocolate almond milk um, that I have. Cause like I said, we go through almond milk very quickly in this house. Oh, and then I have a Simply Lemonade um, strawberry flavor juice, but I've had that. So I didn't get that today, but I do love the Simply Lemonades. Then up here, I have a large container of organic spinach. I like to eat spinach for my sandwiches and for my salads. Um, I have smaller tomatoes, the, um, uh, not, they're not, uh, what are they? They're not the grape tomatoes, they're the cherry tomatoes. I have some cherry tomatoes to cut up for my salad and then I have like the normal sized tomatoes that I actually use for like my sandwiches. Um, then I have a bunch of yogurt. This is my yogurt. So, um, uh, and I say mine because over here is like where Mason and Caleb, well, those are their juices, but this is Mason and Caleb's yogurts. Um, so this is my yogurt and I have a bunch because I eat yogurt for breakfast, but then I also put yogurt in my protein shakes. And then I have a, got another carton of eggs because this one is almost empty and I do love me a good scrambled egg. Um, so that's, um, I think that's everything cold item wise that I got today. Then over here, we got some bananas, of course, because um, I need bananas for my breakfast and for my smoothies. I got some sandwich bread just because of course I'm gonna make some sandwiches. And then I got these larger tortillas um, because this is actually what I'm gonna be making my pizza on rather than regular pizza dough. And I got some 
Cheerios um, just for breakfast because this is an easy, quick um, breakfast item. Then up here in this cabinet, I got some, like I said, I'm making pizza tomorrow. So I have some pizza sauce. I have spaghetti sauce because um, I'm going to have pasta this week. Also, I like the Newman's Own Saccharini flavored sauce. That's my favorite. And then um, I got my oatmeal for breakfast. And that's the only thing that's in here that I got today. Then down here is where I like to keep the snacks. So like I said, snacking is going to be a good part of um, me packing on the calories. So I got popcorn is one of the snacks that they recommended for me. So I got the skinny pop popcorn that already has butter added and it's supposed to be 43 calories per cup. And then I also got this smart food white cheddar um, popcorn, which is 35 calories per cup, um, just to switch it up every now and then. So I'm not eating the same type of popcorn. I been eating these but I got some more protein bars um, I used to eat them for breakfast but now they're saying I should have them as my snack so I got a two boxes of these I go through them pretty quickly because I love them um, I got some raisins some dry roasted um, peanuts some natural almonds and I'm planning on oh and oops, um, some pretzel sticks and I'm planning on combining all four of these the almonds the peanuts, the almonds, and the the peanuts, the um the peanuts, the almonds, the raisins, and the pretzel sticks, and kind of making my own trail mix. And then I got some just regular um, rice cakes, and I will be using those for like snack and breakfast meals. And then that stuff was just here. That's Mason and Caleb's snacks because I actually don't eat chocolate, so um, but that's for them. Um, but to go with like my rice cakes, I have um, the regular just peanut butter spread and then I have the almond butter um, spread also because I put almond butter in my protein shakes. Okay, now freezer items. I got this, um, these frozen strawberries because I got fresh strawberries. Fresh strawberries are more for like my oatmeal and um, some of my other snacks. The frozen strawberries are for my smoothies. Um, and then I also got um, frozen peaches and frozen mangoes um, to just switch up the smoothie flavors every now and then. So that is it, that's all I have. Um, to show really other than a few other items I got that really aren't that important that only have anything to do with my fitness journey. Um, but those are the most important items I have to show today. Like I said, I'm going to go to the store again tomorrow to pick up some other items like um, I need to get like all my meat and I need to get some cucumbers and just a few other items that I had on my list that they didn't have at Target. And then again, I still need to go to the vitamin shop and I will end this video here and stay tuned for my next video, which will probably be a tour of how I set up my home gym and what my out of home gym looks like, which will be the two gyms that I'm using um, to do my workouts. And maybe I might even show how I make my smoothies, but um, just stay tuned for the next video and make sure you follow the series and follow me or join me on uh, my healthy weight gain journey. Bye.